Let's hear you make that sound. Oh, it sounds just like it. That's what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to mini cheer. We have to run the alcohol because I didn't have any shoes. And we thought it was going to be on the 17th, yeah. But obviously it wasn't. So what is mini cheer? Mini cheer is when the cheerleaders, they help the you. School? Yeah, we go to the high school and the cheerleaders in the high school, they help us in, on, on one day. And then um, on the same day we um, perform. perform for our parents, but last time we couldn't, mom couldn't come watch because she had to get her cyst out. But I guess that she can come today. Yes, I will be there today. I'll be there. And hopefully we can find some shoes for me. So I'll she see you at the store. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see how cute you look. <gasps> we haven't got shoes yet. I'm gonna go get shoes. We didn't want you to be late, huh? You ready? Yeah. Are you gonna cheer at the school one day? Look at all these girls. You go find a friend? Braylee's gonna be mad at me because I didn't film in the store. She gave me the camera and she said, I'm running in and you need to make sure that you film in the store because I told them that I would take them. But I was trying to hurry, but I did find some shoes on sale. They're not the cutest, but they'll work. I'm running them to Braylee now. They're all right. They're white and pink and purple. That's cute. So Braylee's just up there waiting. She only had like a little pair of white flats and they were fine, but they would probably hurt. So we're gonna run them up there. But I'm so happy that Braylee made it to mini cheer. It's something that I went to when I was little and then I was a cheerleader at the high school. I got to do mini cheer for little kids and I loved it so much. So I'm so happy that Braylee is there and I can't wait to watch her and to show you guys. It's gonna be so exciting. All right, we're on our way to go and watch Bray Bray. Are you excited, Gage? Yeah, we're gonna see Gunner. Hopefully, we're hoping that Gage's friend Gunner is there. So fingers crossed that he's there. Um, his sister is cheering there. We were so happy to see her there. Anyways, we're so excited to go. We're meeting Grandma Sammy there. So we will be there in just a second. Um, I keep dressing for like Venice weather and it's way hotter here. So I wore this flannel shirt that I love and um, now I'm afraid I'm gonna be sweating to death. But you, like in Venice, it's warm, but there's usually like a little breeze. So it just feels good and it's flowy and I'm already feeling like I'm gonna be dying. What do you think? Did you dress right for this weather? Yep. I think you did. I think I didn't. Here's Braylee. Ready, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> Again, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. <laughs> and one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And 
job. Thank you. Yay! Gage loved watching you. Huh. It was so hard. It was so hard. I know that was a fast dance. You did good. Thank you. Guess what we have? Oh no. Ice cream. Ice cream and. Do you guys see that? A screw in our tire. Dang it. My hair is blowing everywhere because it's really windy, but a guy came in and said, whose car is that? It has a flat tire. There's a screw in it and it was mine. Dang it. So the people at the tire store came and pumped up the tire and now we're taking it in to get it fixed. And that's a nightmare and the kids didn't get to play as long as they wanted, but we're going to the tire store now. Can I just relay the amount of frustration that I'm having to you guys? Can I just tell you how absolutely PO'd I am at myself and at electronic devices as a whole, mostly Final Cut Pro and GoPro. I spent most of all of yesterday editing a Hushin' with Levere video, a Cooking with Casey Thursday video, because every Thursday I was going to put up a new video, and so I had this one. I wanted to do a Dutch oven recipe that I did a couple weeks ago when I was in home for uh, the turkey hunt. Cut it all up. It looked good, except for I was having some rendering issues with the GoPro footage. Uh, I didn't think it was a big deal, so I spent like, I don't know, eight hours on it yesterday working on it. Then, when I got close to being done, I realized that that rendering issue was probably a lot bigger deal than I had anticipated. So I was like, well, I'll just do the same thing I do every time I have a problem because I'm a complete noob when it comes to electronics. I can shoot a video, I can import that video to Final Cut, I can edit that video, I can export that video, unless there's some sort of problem. If there's a problem, I am completely helpless, I have no idea. I just know when it goes smooth, I can do it. Well, I don't know what the hell, sorry, heck, happened, but for some reason, I've tried everything. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. Like, basically, this is what happens. I overlay the video. This might not make sense to you guys, some of you guys, but you have your primary storyline, and then I take the GoPro footage, and I always just use the GoPro footage as, like, overlay B-roll, like, over the top of me talking. So it, I'm talking about putting, you know, carrots in the Dutch oven, and I'm saying that on the primary storyline, and then the GoPro footage is just a, a close-up of me actually doing that with the GoPro. But when I put that in there, you know how sometimes when something's rendering in Final Cut, there will be an orange bar above it, and then it will render, and it will be gone. Well, this isn't a solid orange bar. It's like a bunch of little hashes. Instead of the solid bar, it's a bunch of little hashes above it. And the video is really choppy and glitchy. And uh, all the GoPro footage is like that. So I started figuring out, I tried to, I tried to, somebody told me to try to convert the footage, the format of the GoPro from MP4 to Apple Pro Res, and I went to the MPEG Clip Share website, downloaded that, tried it. I can't find the freaking Apple GoPro Res option to export with QuickTime, so I don't know what the heck. It makes me mad. And then, so I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm tired of trying to figure this out, I'm wasting all this time. So I'm like, I'll just reshoot it this week. I'll reshoot that footage, and I'll make that, I'll make that recipe again and reshoot that GoPro footage and use that. And so then I was like, well, I'll just cut this other video I have of when we were in Oregon bear hunting, I made um, what we call a McMackle muffin, which my friend who I was with made up. And so I, I shot that and I can't find the whole, I found all the GoPro footage too and I can't find the other clip, the main clip to it. I don't know if I erased it or what, but oh, it's frustrating, it drives me nuts. Being a YouTuber is awesome, but man, it has some downfalls for sure. Like, dealing with computers. I hate computers. I hate them. Stupid. I'm gonna start, whatever, Psh, whatever. And then to top that off, Kaylee decided to go freaking cruising her little minivan around construction sites and got a nail in her tire and popped her tire. My cousin works at the tire shop, and, and I was saying, oh, that, that, that was definitely you just kidding, because it was on the passenger side, the, ta the, the nail, and he's like, to be honest, he You're says, this side right don't, now. don't make stuff up. He said, but to be honest, he said, it probably was you, Kaylee, and she's like, well, how do you know that? And he said, because women always hug the, the white line of the road, the right side of the road when they're driving, and men always hug the middle of the road. And that's where it was. And he says, and that's where all the nails are because they get flipped off to the side and that's where all the nails and screws are. So I was like, yeah, Wes, you're right. 
I mean, it's years of experience coming from Wes. He's, he owns the tire shop, so how do you argue with that? I still will. You were just barely hugging the outside lane. I don't have a nail in my tire. Mm -hmm. F YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. So anyway, I hate editing videos. But Gage does have another softball game today. Yay. Are you excited, bud? Yeah. Yeah? I remember when I hit it out to first base. That nice. Was so good. And Braley had cheer camp today. How was it? Really good. Did you learn a lot? Yeah. Did you learn how to dance like a star? Yes. You are a star. An eagle actually looks like a star. So an eagle actually looks like a star. You can tell Gage isn't paying attention because, well, the three aren't paying attention. Oh wait, look who's the last guy on the field. Woohoo! Good job, bud! He just told me he didn't catch any balls, so I guess it wasn't a good job. Go! Run! Run faster! Go get it, Gage. Go get it. It's a race. Who's going to get it first? All five of them. I wonder if he's paying attention to the game. Doesn't matter where it's at, Gage is going after it. <laughs> oh geez, Gage, you about got it. You about got it, bud. I want to tell him if it's not hit to him, don't go get it. But I want him to be aggressive, so I'm just like, whenever the ball's hit, go after it. He'll learn later. He's kind of a selfish ball player that way. And there he goes again. <laughs> You ready? Nice job, throw it, Gage. Oh, great throw. Good job, bud. It's a heck of a glove and a throw. Ooh, good stop. Throw it. Strike a one. And he goes down. Watch the ball. Good hit, run. Go, Gage, go. Good hit, bud. He was a little embarrassed the first time he swung and missed. He was, somebody said something in the crowd, he was watching him, just giving him the eye. I told him I wanted to see him run like flash that time. He says, I can run faster than flash. 